Hey everyone, it's Wendy Cranford. I'm here today to show you how to make this beautiful card. I saw somebody use this technique on another card on a Facebook group I'm part of and I just loved it and thought I would do a card for you. So we're going to get started. Our first thing I want to do is show you this t stamping technique. I have cherry, um, I'm sorry, crushed curry and Cajun craze as my ink pads. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock cut at four by five and a quarter and I have the magnificent maple leaf. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp up in the crushed curry and you're gonna flip your block over and you're gonna use a sponge dauber in the Cajun craze and you're gonna go around the edges of your leaf just the very outside edge and then I ink the stem and then I just went ahead and put a little bit of ink down in the center of this and then you just simply flip it over and stamp. Now I have a piece of paper here so that it'll catch everything that comes off. So you're going to do that all over this piece to create your background. So with the magic of TV I have one that's already finished and if you notice there's not a lot going on here in the middle and that's because we're gonna do our layering there so there was really no need for me to stamp in that area. This is a piece of uh, early espresso and it is cut at one and a half by five and a quarter inches and I'm just gonna put down some snail there in the middle and then I have a strip of burlap that I've cut here. This is the burlap that's in the holiday catalog and it's cut, I mean it's uh, one and a quarter inch wide. So this is just a quarter of an inch wider. And I'm just going to fold it in half here and cut it so that it's got a fishtail edge. I'm going to do that on both ends. And this is the card I made for my swap for Patty Bennett's meeting. Okay, so I'm putting that down here in the middle and I'm letting these stick up. And then I have a piece of crushed curry chevron striped ribbon. And I'm going to put some adhesive on this end and stick it down. Turn it around and put some adhesive on this end and stick it down. And then I'm going to put adhesive here in the middle and put it on top of my burlap and it sticks just fine. I haven't had any problems with it sticking. And then I have the beautiful Naturals buttons and I have a trinket here, some linen thread, and then I have stamped and punched this little bitty friend sentiment and I punched that out of this ticket punch here. And I used the um, postage collection stamp set to do the friend. That's this one. So there's the friend sentiment. And it kind of chops it off when you punch it out, but that's okay with me. I didn't mind. So you're just going to open up your, this is to make your embellishment for the front of the card. You'll open up your safety pin and you're just going to go from the bottom and poke up through the paper and then close your safety pin. So now you have this little piece hanging here. And then you'll just need your piece of linen thread. And I'm going to send it through the bottom of this button on each side. Whoops. Okay. And then I'm just going to tie a double knot. Maybe. Anytime you do anything on camera, it seems like it's more difficult. I don't know why. Okay, and then I'm taking this piece and I'm going to go through the top of this safety pin here with one of my pieces of thread and just let it go down onto the button and I'm going to do another double knot. Okay, and at this point you could tie a bow or you can just clip these off and you'll just have some twine sticking out there. 
And then you'll just use a couple of glue dots. All this stuff is on here from the burlap. When you trim the burlap, it's kind of messy. And then I'm sticking that down in the center. Then I have a piece of summer star fruit that I've cut at five and a half by four um, by eight and folded in half makes four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And I'm just going to use adhesive on the back of this piece. See all those little fibers flying all over the place from the burlap. And I'm just going to put it down. That's it. Pretty simple card. It's beautiful. I really, really love the technique that we used on this card. So thanks so much for watching everybody and don't forget that if you place an order to use the hostess code that's on my website to be entered to win $25 in free product on August 30th and um, I'm also giving free muslin bags to anybody who places a $25 order or more in the month of August. You'll get three of them for free. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.